Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a what? A minor. We all know that the Kendrick and Drake beef is underway and Kendrick is winning by a landslide. What's most important to me is how women tie into the whole rap beef about what's going on. Kendrick has called Drake out as being a pedo, a perv, and has shown evidence of open cases with Drake uh, being involved with young girls, 16 year old girls, 15 year old girls throughout his whole music career. I don't know how we did not catch this, but we should have caught it sooner. There is no way that he should have got to the status that he got. Is it the braids? We then to find out is Drake really out here messing with these 16 year old girls? And if so, this is going to lead, in my opinion, should lead to the end of Drake's rap career. Of course, I'm on Kung Fu Kenny's side, but I'm here to show us women, you need to protect your daughters because your daughters are out here and these pedos are on their foot. Grown men like kids, and your sons are not safe either. But let's get into Drake and his um, indulgence in teenage girls. He did have an album called Teenage Fever, so <laughs> not shocking, right? It ain't shocking. She's 17. I can't go to jail yet? We gonna ask it why you look like that. You should feel guilty. Oh, uh, why is he on her? Why is he touching? This is like, like, went on a date with an 18 year old. It's a oh little creepy, God. but it's cool. She 18, whatever. It's weird, but it's legal. All right, bro. She was born in 2000, bro. 2000? And he born in 86. Up with her. In 2016, lay it up on her, bro. And then as soon as she turned 18, they took her out on a date, bro. Wow. Dude, this shit blew my fucking mind when I was <laughs> this shit, bro. On God, this shit blew my fucking mind, bro. Like dead ass, bro. This break is pre ordering bitches, bro. He pre. They get to him young. Pre ordering, bro. They've been messing with him. This, what, May 5th, 2016? Linked her. A week after she turned 16. A week she after. Freshly 16, bro. Like, God, like, what is this shit, bro? <laughs> bro, this shit, like, actually blew me when I seen this, bro. Drake, he, he wants to see me? I was like, okay, I think this is Millie up. Bobby that, Brown. We, honestly, we text all the time now. We text, we just text each other the other day. He was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss How you. How old was she when they we started texting? afterwards, and we had dinner the next day, and then we met in Sydney. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? You know, that saves in the text messages. No. The former wheelchair actor is following a 16-year-old girl on Instagram. He has known her since she was even younger. Ooh, again, so he was definitely Drake. going after somebody daughter. And the related headline reads, Drake head over heels for Turks and Caicos cutie. Drake's latest Turks and Caicos vacation seems to include a blossoming romance with a bartender named Flaka, who's got the boy's nose wide open as he serenaded her in her off hours. On Wednesday, Drake and his crew hit an intimate beach club named Noah's Ark, which reunited him with Flaka. He's already nicknamed her the Pride of Turks and made sure to get additional face time with her at the bar. The evening ended with more canoodling, a candlelit dinner where Drake sang his tune Feel No Ways, leaving Flocka blushing. And I'll post a so video Flocka is here the of, year old? of him at the bar with her and him later at dinner with her. Let's see it. Is Flocka the 16 year old? Wow. Why did TMZ hit on Drake's such a creep. He's been a creep. So 
So his songs, he really he don't be talking about grown women. He be talking about sixteen year old girls in his songs. Eighteen year old girls. Oh my god, she she definitely a young girl, yeah. Drake have flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story, but I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was going to even seek it. I'm not even going to lie. So he had texted me in vintage mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number. Quick. So he my these little girl, these these, these young girls gotta stop thinking that just because this man who got money wanna be so with you, mean you should do it. For November sixteenth, mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that. November thirteenth. So fast forward, I got off the plane. He had sent a private out to get me, but before I went inside his How house, old was she? they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked at my NDA rules, so I know what I can and can't say. You see it. So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing on my stomach and kept on asking questions like, do you want kids? And I'm like, what you trying to say? Like, if you, want, if you want a baby mama, me, just say that. <laughs> he just but the fact that you'll be okay with baby mama, like being somebody's baby mama is wild. He's like, yeah, I want one. I want another boy. So we watch a movie. We drinking Casamigos. Then y'all know. Casamigos bring out the freak up. <laughs> so y'all know we did what we did. Wow. I don't want to go in detail about that because it's self-explanatory. But he did not use protection, which was a little weird. But you wanted to be a baby mama, right? The flow. I think Drake so I got way more kids out there. Like Kendrick, I think he got way more kids out there than we. So everything went left when I pulled my phone out. So I had pulled my phone out and I had recorded him. And as soon as he seen me recording him, he slapped my phone out my hand. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little scared because that slap was aggressive. But after he had slapped the phone out my hand, he was like, you got to go. I was like, just because I recorded you, really? But I had posted the video on my Instagram. All the receipts is on my Instagram. So I don't got time for y'all to be like, I'm lying and all of that. Because what do I have to lie for? I don't know, but that girl who was in Turks and Caicos, she was definitely a kid. The uh, Slime You Out song featuring SZA and Drake's beginning verse was like, y'all girls, y'all need somebody to tell y'all what to do and how to eat food and what fork and utensils to use. It makes so much sense that he was talking about young girls because I was like, he was pretty much looking like these girls are childish, like the women that he messing with. You need somebody to tell you what to do right and what to do wrong. It's because you're messing with kids. You are messing with little girls. I think this beef is the end of Drake. And I think it should be because Drake either got two options in my opinion. You either gonna go to jail or you gonna get out the country, but you but you can't stay here. Like you should have been in jail by now. But because you got money and you can pay people off, cool. You can pay off court cases. Like apparently Kendrick Lamar said he had an open court case when he S A the seventeen year old girl. You had to pay five hundred k for that. You need to go to jail or flee the country. But your rap career and this is over with. You're a whole like you said. You're a whole pedo out here, bro. Y'all let me know. I think this is the end of Drake. Um, because at this point, if you support Drake, you support all the pedo stuff. You support everything. Who y'all think winning? Of course, Kendrick is winning. Like, if, if you don't say Kendrick, then I don't, I don't know what world you're living in. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I'll be back with another video reaction for you guys. Bye.